Keeping a lathe running as productively as possible should not be complicated. With a world first design, LNS have a brand new bar feeder that helps to maximize machine productivity and minimize changeovers. Let's find out how. So Tony, you guys got a brand new design of bar feeder we'll talk about it in just a minute. But before, what, what's the most important thing a bar feeder needs to do? Well, with a long magazine bar feeder we're going to be talking about, the whole idea of this is that you can load your bar up on your, your fixed headstock machine or your sided headstock machine and you can run it unmanned overnight. Yeah, most people put a short bar feeder on a fixed head. Why? That's a very good question. That's something that's evolved very recently. In, it's more, more than anything, it's just a space saving exercise. Not every customer's got the room for a long magazine bar feed. Mm -hmm. So we have started to fit short magazine bar feeds as well. But with a long magazine bar feed, you can maximize, I guess, that. The exactly. So normally what you'll get is a bar would normally come in three meter lengths. But what that would also do that a short magazine bar feeder can't do is that will obviously reduce your remnant length at the end. So you only have one remnant instead of maybe three remnants. OK. And how else? So you've got a brand new design now we're going to talk about. Yes. Well, congratulations. It's a unique design, right? Yeah. Um, what does it do and what is it? Yeah, we're very proud of it. It's the it's called the Express 346 Evo, and that goes from anywhere between three millimeters and 46 millimeters. And how have you designed this to try and make it as easy for uh, as possible for businesses to get the best out of the bar feeder? Well, with our new technology, it's not just an NS first; it's a weld first. I say so. The major thing with these is the self-adjusting channels that we've got. With our with our older bar feeds and competitors' bar feeds, you'd have to purchase maybe three, four sets of channels. This is time consuming when changing over. We don't have to do this anymore. The only mechanical change that you have to do is maybe changing the pusher. Okay, so the channels change the size based on the bar you're putting in. Correct. All you have to do mechanically is, is change the pusher. How, else, how are you else are you making it easier for the operator? Well, with our new touchscreen handset that we're trying to put on all of our bar feeds at the moment, okay, across the board, um, literally the customer maybe have to change two settings, which is the bar diameter and the part length. And when he changes these settings over, it does multiple things. It will change the torque setting. And what it also does is it will adjust the channels around both the bar and around the push rod. Brilliant. So it makes it much easier for operators. Yes. And we'll talk about the benefits of that in a little bit. But is there, any other, is there any other design changes that help make the performance of the machine actually any better? Yeah, so we have two true channels at the front, longer channels at the front, and we have a front rest at the front of the bar feed. These are all incorporated together. So when you put your bar and your push rod within the channel, just by pressing the button, these will close around both the pusher and the bar, and they will open up automatically by one millimeter, thus supporting the bar 95% along the way inside the bar feed. And what does that mean? Well, because the bar supported all the way along inside the bar feed, and it also has the oil getting pumped into the channels, that allows the customer to increase his spindle speeds, which reduces his cycle time. And also, we've got a slim nose now on the bar feed. So one of the options on the machines these days is non guybrush mode. So that becomes even further unsupported from the bar feed to the back of the spindle. So what we can do, we now have a slimmer nose and we can bring that inside the machine, closer to the back of the spindle, which still allows the customer to increase his spindle speed. If you were to sum up the, kind of the, the benefits of the Express 346 for a, for a customer, what would you say? So increase, increase speeds for the spindle, means reduce cycle time. Changeovers at minimum on the bar feed side. Also, the, there's no extra costs for the channels and the training for his employees is at a bare minimum with two changeovers.